Love Beacon, Device Preparation. Supplies needed. You'll need a mesh bag, such as one that holds oranges, lemons, or limes that you get at the grocery store. You also need some Epsom salt. Put about two to four cups in a bowl. Three Ziploc bags are necessary. Two small, sandwich size or quart size, and one large, gallon size. These should be heavy duty. You will need your love beacon. Place the love beacon inside of a Ziploc bag. Close the bag and then put the bag and the love beacon inside another Ziploc bag. Make sure both small bags are sealed tightly so no water gets into the love beacon itself. Once you have tightly closed them, place your Epsom salt in your gallon size bag and then put your love beacon with the Ziploc bags inside of your gallon size bag. Turn the beacon on and allow the light from the beacon to permeate all the crystals within the bag. Next, you're gonna carefully make tiny little slits in the outer gallon size Ziploc bag. All you really need to do is put the point of the sharp knife into the outer bag and just make tiny slits that are no bigger than the top of that knife. You don't need very many, just a few. The reason being is you want the water to slowly come in and mix with the crystals and slowly go out. The slits shouldn't be so big that salt starts to drop out as you pick up the bag. Now it's time to grab your string and your mesh bag. Place your device that's inside of your gallon Ziploc bags within your mesh bag and then tie it nicely at the top. Before heading out, make sure the string you cut is long enough that the bag can go completely under the water and also be tethered to the bank in some way. At this point, you're all set to go. Let's go into exactly what the purpose of the ceremony is and what your intention and speech needs to cover prior to beginning the ceremony. The intention of this ceremony is to use the conductivity of water molecules so that they can pick up a charge of directed positive energy that is being released. The individual conducting the ceremony is to ask the universe to send balanced energy in the form of positive reasoning. This request will link to the light of the love beacon. In making this request, the light bearer must physically speak the intention and outcome they wish to occur. Stating your intention out loud should be done prior to embarking on the body of water you have chosen. Once you're ready, go ahead and pick up your bag with your crystals and just move it around in your hands, allowing your energy to permeate the crystals and you connecting to those salt crystals and your love beacon. Feel your energy mixing with the energy of the crystals. And when you're ready, you'll state your intention. You do this by stating your name and battalion number. For example, I would say, I, Lady Sophia, Raphael, number 133. And then I would continue on with the following intention statement. I have the intention to link my will to the willpower of my fellow angel knights in order to help balance the human collective consciousness by infusing these waters with the universal Christ consciousness as part of the great master plan of creation. I ask that the energy of the anointed 
come in the form of the great white light energy that will be held in my love beacon until such time as I pass its energy into special salt crystals. Once fully charged, I will submerge the lit beacon in a body of water where the crystals will begin to liquefy as water passes through small slits in the bag. I asked the 1000 angels of light in my Archangels Battalion to carry this pure white light energy into all neighboring water molecules in every direction. May these sacred molecules continue to be released as long as the love beacon remains lit. After five days, I will remove the beacon to close the ceremony. At that time, I request that the white light be absorbed in underground streams, finding its way into drinking water and to be lifted up by the sun to fall as rain so it can enter the food supply as a blessing of our unconditional love. My desire is that all who touch these waters be freed from the programming of negative reasoning and for them to awaken to the peace of mind. We ask this on behalf of the children of tomorrow. Amen. And may God's will be done.